What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, kids of all ages, adults of all ages, senior citizens, physically handicapped people, mentally handicapped people, totally healthy people. Mike B. I get my own category. Yeah. So this is a deck that was submitted by the Urchai. Happens to be in chat right now. And it is basically goblins. Three Goblin Crater Maker, three Warren Instigator, four Munitions Expert from uh, Modern Horizons. Three go oh, four Goblin Matron only. I don't have... There we go. Four Goblin Matron. One Pashalik Mons from Modern Horizons. Whenever this or another Goblin you control dies, it deals one damage to any target. You can also sack a Goblin to make two Goblins, which is pretty sweet. Three Goblin Chieftains. Three Goblin War Chiefs. Oh, two Goblin War Chiefs. One Chain Whirler. All of these you can search out with the Goblin Matron. Four Goblin Ringleader. One Goblin Trash Master. Not to be confused with Michael B. And then wow. you have four Karn. Karn is nice. He's going to shut down. Uh... Oh, thank God you're live. I've got a project at work that is literally the boringest shit ever, and I need something to keep me entertained while I'm working on it. <laughs> Josh, I'm here for you, buddy. For Karn, Karn is able to shut out the other artifacts, but you can also just go get Mycosynth Lattice. And then turn all their permanents off forever. So that's pretty cool. And then you have three Tar Fire, which you can also get with uh, Matron or Ringleader. But does that like turn off their lands too? Yeah, because their lands become artifacts. What does it affect you too? Uh, artifacts of uh, oh, your opponents. opponent's control can't be activated, okay. yeah. So one thing I would probably do is cut two, two Scalding Tarn for two... Uh, um, what's that shit called? Prismatic Vista? Just because you can get black and red with it. I mean, you can probably just use them for blood crypts, but sometimes you run out of blood crypts, or sometimes you just don't want to take the damage. So, we'll see how it goes. We're going to play this for now. But a lot of the a lot of the sideboard is definitely just artifacts you can search out with Karn. You have Ensnaring Bridge, Chalice of the Void, Thorn of Amethyst, Liquid Metal Coating, Ratchet Bomb, Spyglass, Pithing Needle, and Graph Digger's Cage. And then you have Sword of Feast and Famine and three Thought Seas. I don't think too hard about the mana base in middle. That's fair. That's fair. If that's the case, then I might actually. Man, eh, I think it looks fine. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Civilization. That's Michael B. Now we just have to hope that the uh, the modern Q fires. That's really our. That's really our biggest concern. Franklin, good afternoon, my dude. Christopher, good afternoon. My Huckleberry friend. Mucho, good afternoon, my other dude. Oh, look, we did it. We did it already. We're making... I don't know if it's really the afternoon. Well, it's afternoon for Chris. He's... Oh, yeah, that's true. Wow. You think all, everything... Wait, no, it's not. It's 3 p.m. That's not really afternoon, is it? It's not evening. Oh, you're right. Maybe it is afternoon. <laughs> I'm like, when is it if it's not the afternoon? See, like, I just don't want to take damage here, so I'm just going to go with Aether Vials for now. It is a little weird that they released a modern-only product just a few months before introducing small modern that doesn't include those cards. I agree with you. That is interesting. Because people are like, I, I even saw a comment the other day where someone's like, would Force of Negation be good in this deck? And I'm like, yeah, it probably would. But it's not legal. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Oh my god, it is Wednesday, my dudes. Um, How long until Pioneer Horizons? Ooh. Civilization. Alright, so what are we doing here? Let's just play Crater Maker, right? Crater Maker. What is this they played? Either Vile? Oh, so we're just playing against some fishy boys. This is nice because both Crater Maker, Crater Maker, and Munitions Expert can all kill their their lords. My lord? You know. Peener Horizons. That's my that's the name of my band. It's not we're not very good. <laughs> like they're like, well I can play a Lord of Atlantis, but then it just dies to this onboard crater maker. Next year, though, Year of Commander, the year that my job gets nuts. So, yeah, especially because you have to, like, deal with all the back cards as well that get that get price increases because of Commander. Because you're like, oh, good. 
all of these cards are better because of these new commander cards. So I guess I'll. Hey Mike, uh, are you excited about the new commander products that are coming out next year? I mean, if they're cool. If I, they're not cool, if they're nah. not cool, nah. Nah. Michael B. Do, 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 in the tree. Do, 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 do. Sometimes you want to crater make things. Dun, dun, around, uh -oh. You can block here? Wow. I'm tempted to just kill this Aether Vile. What do you think about that? Not terrible. I think you just take the trade. Okay. Civilization. Can we talk about civilization? What's up with the world of Commander? I watched like five minutes of the Command Zone video, but didn't have enough interest to listen to the whole sales pitch. Yeah, I don't really listen to Commander podcasts either. Sure. I'll watch Commander games though. They have a couple of those on YouTube's. Do they? Wow. I just want to say nice things about each other. Nah, that's that ain't that ain't how you do. How do you do? Uh, I'm gonna keep this guy on two for now. Oh, see, look, we did it. Or do we just play ringleader? We probably just play ringleader, right? Seems okay. Goblin ring a ding ding ding. All right. Let's see what you got. Sure. Wow, I only hit one ring later, huh? Well, I guess I don't want to draw those anyway, so. Seems fine. Get in there. You gonna keep trading? No. Okay. Okay. So if we don't need Munitions Expert, we'll play Warren Instigator. I haven't caught the stream in a while, but I watch your YouTube videos daily, so thanks for the content. I wanted to say I really enjoyed the Outer Worlds playthrough. Thanks. I really appreciate it, B. Sandus. Good to know. I know it was a little rough having Mike there with me, but you know, wow. I try to humor him, give him a, give him a place to stay. All right, that's a weird card that doesn't really do much, but you know, <coughs> civilization. Can we talk about civilization? Okay. I don't know what to say about it. Mm. Uh oh, what are you doing here? Lord, Lord of Atlantis. Lord of Atlantis. Huh. This is all very fascinating. Yes. Yes. Don't turn around. Uh oh. Lord of Atlantis goes down. Uh oh. See that? Maybe just block here too. Seems fine. I like it. We still got double ringleader. No. Nah, B. Can I get my chief on? Chiefin. Whoa. I'm chiefin. 
I want to chief it with you. Oh, what we should have done. No, I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Because he wouldn't have been attacking. I guess we could have actually went chieftain into instigator. But I wanted to keep up munitions expert if we if we hit a munitions expert. So You like things that are good. Have you tried matcha green tea yet? I just picked one up from the business. Uh, I've tried matcha green tea from Starbucks. I've tried their their matcha green tea latte. And it was very delicious. Oh, second item. Well, that doesn't seem ideal. But what do I know, Michael? Matcha, 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 matcha. Matcha, matcha, man. I want to be a matcha man. Put that on the stack. No. Munitions expert. Matron. Well, that's fascinating, isn't it? Don't turn around, Mike B. So we can sneak in a crater maker if they try to block. They did not try to block. Warren and Sigurd gets put in two goblins. Holy smokes. Trigger. Yes. How about a ringleader? Hit him again. Oh, God. Jesus. They have a family. Oh, get a trash master and a chain whirler? <clears throat> no, another chieftain. Okay. Okay. Well, that was a lot of, uh, a lot of goblin power. Are they scooping? Not yet. They're like, no way. I got this. Gonna play my trashy boy. Trashy boy every day. <coughs> you like my trashy boy? Yep, you got it. Put a dude into play. Look at that Lord of Atlantis. The corn is going growing tall today. Badger, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. It is always good to see you. Yeah, you drink that water. The ice guzzler. Where's your cup, man? In the other room. Did it break? No. Does it have gunk in it? No. I bet it's got some gross gunk in it. No. I bet it's super disgusting. It's still in the cabinet, bitch. Wow. It's aggressive. Look at those seahorses. Good thing those horses aren't merfolk. I guess that's a good thing. Oh, well, they were. We might actually be dead. Well, you know what they say. Uh, yes. Now we have a multiple chiefy. Oh, oh. <coughs> Ooh, awkward. Can't cast it. Why can't I cast it? You don't need black mana. Oh, that is awkward. That is awkward. I got excited. I feel like we're actually we can put it into play with this ringleader. So let's put a chieftain into play. Let's put another chieftain into play. And let's bonk. I think they're just dead, right? Five, yeah, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now they get one through. So five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Four is gonna get through, but none of our guys should die here. Boop. 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 And boop. And boop. Okay. Dan's what's going on? It's getting warmer here. Summer is close and I'm not ha summer is close? Wait, what? I don't understand seasons. <clears throat> so they go to four. I think we. I think we're in good shape here. Yeah, you don't think uh, Murfolk has a way to wipe your board? I don't think so, my dude. 
I think we're might be okay. Seasons are different elsewhere in the world? No. Just stop it. Just get out of here. Alright, so do we bring in anything against Merfolk? Probably not, right? Nah. Ninety seven today? In October? I thought hurricane season was over. <clears throat> I don't know where RPG Badger lives. Australia. Hmm. Might. Everything's upside down there. It's true. I don't know why his text is right side up. It should be upside down. It's true. It's really weird. That's why I, that's why I always didn't believe him. I was like, wait a minute. Or it should be on the right side of the screen instead of the left side. I just did a flashback Innistrad draft and unintentionally wheeled Travel Prep, but didn't wheel a feeling of dread. Travel Prep is the card you want to wheel. <coughs> um, yeah, this hand actually seems good. Double Munitions Expert is nice. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God, Silver Galanif is a real biscuit. Badger with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much, my dude. Really appreciate thank it. You. Thank you, thank you, my dude. You are great. Meanwhile, good morning. Um, thank you. Yeah, I really don't want to tar fire this guy, but I guess it's fine. It doesn't feel great. What is she really going to use it for, though? Well, like a Lord of Atlantis or something. Thank you. You know? You know Lord of Atlantis? Who that? Thank Do you know the Lord of Atlantis? No. He lives on Drury Lane. Do you know Muffin Man? Thank you. Who that? Oh my God. Why are you like this? Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> yep, that's what I was waiting for, but. Oh, wow. I just have no red mana, huh? All right. That's pretty cool, Thank dude. You. M -m 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 right at the top. Was it? Where? You're looking for Goblin, not Merfolk. Dog. Oh, you're right. God. Where is it? Where are you saying it's right at the top? Well, after you type the M, it went away. Oh, there it's go. okay. Got it. I was like, wait, where is it? Thank you. The Pure Bane. Thank you so much for the resub. Enjoyed your Breach and Eldraza YouTube videos today. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the support. Welcome back. Badger, thank you so much for the gifted subs. You are awesome, dude. Curse Catchy. Oh, that guy's... That guy's not good. Okay, I'll take two more. Are you going to play Trash Man? Uh, no, I want to keep up one for these in case they end up like playing <clears throat> a Lord of Atlantis or something. Oh, this guy actually... Yeah, because Trash Man costs less next turn. I don't know. Yeah, we can just attack with this guy. I think that's fine. Red. Merfolk Trickster. Sure. Wait. 
We have three cards. I feel like our cards have to be better, right? <coughs> I'm no expert, but... It's been a good morning, so I thought I would share it with the world. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I'm really glad you had a good morning. I'm grateful for that. Okay, I'll just take two. You didn't want to. You didn't want to block, but you do want to attack. Fascinating. Fascinating. They didn't do anything. All right, interesting. Chain Whirler doesn't do much, especially when I can't cast him. Built a green black elf deck for Pioneer, which has been doing okay. We'll probably send it through for a test. Yeah, sure, send it over. <clears throat> oh god, they're gonna do it. they're gonna do some some shenanigans. It loses all abilities. Well, biscuits. Wait, that guy's? Why wouldn't you put the trash master? That'd be so much better. I, that's what I don't. Huh? I'm confused. Especially when you have a backup copy. Well, I'm definitely not block. I'm not gonna run this guy into here. Oh, all right, you just take six. Civilization. <coughs> Good times. Jesus. Okay. There's no instant speed lord that they can play, right? No. Okay. So I get to kill this. <clears throat> oh, they have no cards in hand. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. I like that my goblins kill my tribal creatures kill your tribal creatures. Multiple ways. Okay. Oh, no attacks, huh? Well, we're definitely going to use the mana now, so. Destroy this guy. <coughs> mm, tar fire. You'll get caught up in the tar fire. Shoot him. Is this any target or creature? Creature Planeswalker, okay. Yeah, you can't do it with the face. That would be sick, right? That'd be real good. I mean, if you want to block, double block here, you take three, four, six, seven, eight. So that's fine with me because you're dead to tar fire. I accept. Wow. Huh. They go to two? Okay. Well. Okay. Just checking. Just checking. <coughs> Yikes. Yikes. I appreciate them playing it and being like, well, this is all I got. I'll take it. <laughs> you got it. <clears throat> I just want to untap and tar fire them. Can we do that? Oh, they wouldn't even let us. Yeah, I don't see any issues here so far. The Karn is a cute addition. We did not get to draw any, but... Yeah, I'm just going to run it back, because... You know. 
how did how does this get selected oh it's like that that hidden screen right where you're like here and you're like oh yeah there we go I can choose a goblin if I want to I bet there's no goblins there's no goblins I'll just make a Rakdos oh look at that <coughs> I was too slow I did not make it in time too slow We're playing modern, Sam. Come on, you know modern. I can't read what cards we have. <laughs> <coughs> Sammy, I don't even know why you what, what you enjoyment you got out of this stream when you can't even read the cards. But I do appreciate you being here. I appreciate you hanging out. I wonder if pioneer goblins would work. Maybe. I mean, you'd be missing. You'd be missing ringleader. You're missing matron. You're missing warn instigator. You'd have chain whirler. I think no. You'd have this guy because it's in dominaria. This guy's in. I don't know the most recent printing of Chieftain. <coughs> So, so he's a maybe. Get out of here. Why did that show up? Um, Ringleader you would not get because he was in Horizons. Trashmaster was M19, so you'd get Trashmaster. <coughs> Wouldn't get this. I don't think you'd get these. Matron was in what set? I don't actually know. Was it also Modern Horizons? Okay, so not on these... I mean, it would be a totally different deck, right? Like, there'd probably be enough goblins. <clears throat> I think you get those guys. You do get these guys, because these are in, in, like, guilds of Ravnica or something new. But, <clears throat> you'd get these. You wouldn't get Aether Vials. You wouldn't get Tar Fires. Oh, no. Do we have Goblin Grenade? Uh, I don't know if Goblin Grenade is legal. Thank you. It's not. B Sandus, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I thought there was a reprinting of Goblin Grenade, though. There might have been. God, it's so hard to keep track. Grenade. Uh, it was in Magic 2020. <clears throat> so not Pioneer, but it would be Modern Legal. Yeah. I don't know if it, like the. F I don't know if the five mana is good enough though, or the rather the five damage is good enough though. <coughs> No, that's pretty good, man. One mana, five damage. Whatever, buddy. 20 Skirk Prospector bits. Okay. Edrazi. I'm a big fan of the, the Edrazi. Hmm. That, was, that was funny. The Edrazi? Yeah, man. Is that like Eldrazi? That's, that's the joke, yeah. I don't get it. <coughs> well... You will one day. When you're older. No, I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe. I thought I was, I thought I was going first. I guess magic... <coughs> oh, jeez. Alright, well. We got a real big boy playing here. We had a good run. Big boy deck. Did I just tar fire their face here? No, I guess not. That would be very random. Well, because we're not going to use it against any creatures, so we might as well use the mana while we can. You don't know, they could be playing, um... They're not. Could be playing, um... Nope, they're not. The old... Nope. That, uh, that one guy, you know, the yeah. one with the... Nobody knows the what you're stuff saying. The stuff and the things... Nope. That would have been good on turn one, huh? Yeah, I agreed with you. I would have that would have taken two for that. Or I would have just played the mountain, cast it off that. 
Well, they do have the nuts, so Let's see how that works out. Well, they're probably not going to get a a power plant with that, so why not? They'll just forget. See, I told you, they're obviously just going to forget. If they're getting that; they just have it, which is real bad for oh, us. Oh, you think that's you think that's more accurate? I guess they <coughs> didn't have it. What the fuck? I guess they need a green mana? For what? I don't know. I don't understand anything that's happening right now. I like World Breaker. World Breaker? 20 Rest in Peace Warren G Instigator Bits. Wow. <laughs> well, he's, he is going to regulate if he gets through, so... I'm going to say okay. I'm going to put Ringy Boyd out. I'm going to hit these two guys. Do I just put other Ringy Boy out? Yeah, boy. Yeah, Ringy Boy. I'm just afraid they're going to go untap power power plant. Or you could put out War Chief because it gives all your bros haste. I can just do that next turn. Sure. <coughs> so we have six cards. If we hit... <coughs> Matron's fine. Any order. Deal one. Okay, now you're going to get the power plant. <coughs> they did it. They figured it out. So I feel like they're going to Ugin and wipe our board. Let's move main phase. I'm going to play Aether Vial. Yeah, scratch that belly. <coughs> I wish I could stop coughing. That would be great. And eight mana Ugin. Oh, World Breaker. That's fast. They did have World Breaker. What? They did have a World Breaker. Hmm. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. Okay. Man, I wish uh, this guy could deal four damage, five, seven damage instead of four, but. <laughs> is, that, is that too much to ask for? If he dealt two per goblin. That would be great. Oh my god, dance with the Halloween bits. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you. <coughs> so, this guy's hard to deal with, I'll be honest with you. Just gotta ignore him. How? Deal four... I didn't make fun of you. Oh my god. Do you need Dayquil? No, this isn't sickness cough, unfortunately. Um, or fortunately. If he blocks, can't we kill it? Because it'll be five. If it bleeds, we can four, kill it. Four or three, and then the expert will kill it off. I mean, yeah. what are we... Assuming he blocks. This takes two, and then we deal four from the munitions expert, so that's four. So that's six. Plus Tarfire. Yeah, I mean, it's like a two for one but I guess it's fine what else are we gonna do literally nothing yeah and maybe we'll be stupid oh enough god wait Aramiscator. can't crater maker just kill it destroy colorless non-land permanent oh that's real good oh yeah I didn't think of that yeah we should have done that that's smart I forgot like because these cards are th so these these have thrown me off since they since they were created where I'm like I don't know that it's colorless because it's green <coughs> Ah, oh, read the card. Solid advice. Solid advice. 
All right. I thought it also only killed artifacts. I didn't know it killed just colorless. I know it kills colorless permanents. I just totally forget these are colorless because it's got a green mana symbol and it's casting cost. Like. <coughs> oh, God. Here comes the Yugen. Kozilek? What is even happening right now? Well, that's decent for us. Is it? Why is that more decent than this guy? Well, not that guy, but Kozilek, I mean, Ulamog would have been much worse. All right, now we're going to do it. You ready? Man, Crater Maker, OP. I mean, they just drew four cards, so I don't, I don't think our odds of winning this game are high. But, you know. Also had an opportunity to save the Warren G after the first strike damage, did we? Yes, we did. We misplayed that turn quite, quite spectacularly. Because we could have dealt one with the first strike. <clears throat> then put Munitions Expert for four, which would have been five damage. And then Tar Fire for one, which would have been six uh. damage. Oh, good. They're like, well, I don't have anything great here, but I'll just find something sweet. But I got the green ponder. <coughs> the what? It's green ponder. It's more like a green demonic tutor. I don't go that far. It's only top five. I mean, they get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. They can just cast another Kozilek. I mean, if we top deck a Crater Maker, we're actually not in terrible. Oh. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well. Yeah, Green Onic Tutor. That's that's a bit more. Green Pulse. I like I like Green Pulse. It's like Impulse, but green. Yeah, I get it. they take munitions expert solid choice muscle storm oh my god stop playing things dude <coughs> man they took Eldrazi Tron to the next level I think we're in bad shape I'm gonna go to the next game here. <laughs> I don't think I can beat Double Thought Nuts here, Matter Shaper, and uh, Kozilek coming down next turn. How do we beat this deck? Thoughtseize, I guess? Yikes. Does Karn? Karn seems fine, right? We got a Vial. Oh, Tarfire seems pretty. Pretty terrible in this matchup. Yeah, I guess that's fine. <coughs> I'm confused why we're not playing Blood Moon and Elise on the side. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, because Blood Moon's not legal in Pioneer. <laughs> Just kidding. Wait, what? This is a joke. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. I don't think it's great, but I like having Karn, and Karn could just single-handedly win us the game. I don't know.
I also don't know if this is a great matchup for us. Yeah, I think if you switch out two of the Scalding Tarns for Prismatic Vistas, you're okay with, uh, with Blood Moon. So Karn plus liquid metal coating is just a kills their lands, right? No, no, you need Latisse out too, right? No, because liquid metal coating turns their lands into an artifact, and this turns Karn turns their artifact into a creature equal to their power and toughness. Oh, so they can become a zero or into their uh, casting cost, so they become zero zero. So they die. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Apologies for the coughing. I sound like a Pokemon. leave it on two for now <clears throat> like you do wow that's a lot of carns <clears throat> yes let's get a liquid metal coating because we can cast it Eventually, they do get their one turn with infinite mana. That's that's pretty rough. I mean, I guess we could have plussed Karn and then next turn search for it, but then we don't get to use it next turn, so. Yeah, that's pretty rough. So long, Liquid Metal Coating. Long time YouTube fan, I'm curious, now that you played both formats, which format do you enjoy more Pioneer? Uh, I can't, I, I, I don't think I've seen enough Pioneer to uh, to know that.
Nope. Man, I almost want a second liquid metal coating in the sideboard. <laughs> what can we get here? Probably nothing great, right? Sword doesn't really do anything. You yeah, but like bridge is good, but like they could just kill it with pretty much anything. You lattice. I mean, it's like six thousand mana, but yeah. I mean, I guess. Well, it's I mean, we have five, so it's true. <coughs> Alright, well next turn we got a got a lattice. I thought it was actually eight mana for some reason. Six mana is much more reasonable. As long as they don't have a second thought knots here, guys. Yep, that'll probably do. Yeah, fourth that's gonna be game. <laughs> Yep, that's going to do it. Yeah, I just think our deck is pretty rough against Eldrazi in general. Hmm. I don't know if we need four Karns. I feel like three Karns is probably fine. For what purpose? For what purpose? Yeah, I just don't feel have? like you want to draw that many. I mean, before that game, we had drawn literally zero, so. Let me grab some Prismatic Vistas. I think we do want to find room for Blood Moon. Yeah, I do like Blood Moon in the sideboard. I also think the sideboard might be a little too uh, too stretched with um, artifacts here. One, two, three. Probably got Sword of Feast and Famine. Like, I don't think we need Spyglass and Pithing Needle. Sure. Sword of Feast and Famine is cute. I don't know if it's really needed. Uh... Thorn of Amethyst, I guess that's good. Um, I feel like by the time you can actually get a Thorn of Amethyst, though, you're probably already relevant, done, yeah. right? Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't see Thorn of Amethyst being that great. <clears throat> oh, no. Is this the same? Oh, fuck. Is this the guy who was playing Eldrazi? Yeah. God damn it. I just don't feel like dealing with this at all. I guess we do a Blood Moon now, but we'll see. Yeah, we still draw it, though. <laughs> and we have the sideboard, yeah. No, you're not wrong. What about artifact creatures? I mean, what do they do that regular artifacts don't do? I 
Oh, they went to five, though. More like shard effect creatures. Shard effect creatures? What does that mean? You shard them. Hmm. And you fact them. I don't know anything that you're saying right now. <laughs> Where did our match go? Okay. Goblin, okay. <coughs> yes. <coughs> God damn it. I'm so s sick of coughing. Nope, don't want to do that. Get this guy. Hmm. Well. Get in there, I guess. What about just worm coil? Huh. Or Chub Toad. <laughs> yeah, definitely Chub Toad. Chub Toad, Chub Toad, knocking at the door. You know about the Chub Toad? No, I don't. Oh, that's too bad. Goblin Matron. <sighs> I almost kind of want Goblin Crater Maker. <coughs> For the drawsies. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Might actually win this game, but anything could happen. <coughs> Yeah, I think we I think we're good unless they go like Tower Ugin. That's not enough. They don't have nine mana. Ugin cost eight. Ugin, Ugin not Ulmog. Oh, Ugin. Got him. All right, so let's bring these blood moons in, I guess. <sighs> Take out the tar fires. Oh, yeah, that's probably just better. <laughs> <coughs> Thoughtseize also seems good. Mm, to go one either. Let's take out the either dolls, too, I think. Take out Chain Whirler, that's a good idea. Yeah, there's a lot of one ups that just don't do as much, so it's hard to like keep track of all of them. Chain Boy going down the drain, boy. Wow. Chain Boy going down the drain, boy.
cuts like a knife. <laughs> what what does? <laughs> Just quoting a random song. Cause it cuts like a knife. <coughs> God. Kurt, I just ate some cheese. Good for you, buddy. That's a real card there. You can tap this to deal damage to any target, huh? Yep, that's pretty good. So, not bad. It's not really anything we can do. They kill this, <coughs> play this, I don't think it does anything. And I guess we can try to hold out for Matron, or uh, Karn. guess. Oh, actually, just we can get Crater Maker. Crater Maker's fine. That's, that's your boy. <coughs> Whatever that means. Yep. There's, oh, there's attacking with the Unburger? Oh, it untaps during every turn. Never mind. That's that's really bonkers. God. Sure. Yeah, I just don't feel like <clears throat> warning this game. We're just way behind. His name is Ed Rossi. Cratermaker does kill Endbringer, but then we just have to deal with the Reality Smasher. Snoop Goop. Oh, we're in combat. Interesting. Yeah, 
No green. Just take the knots here. All we need is one land, I guess. <clears throat> and then we can Blood Moon and Warn Instigator for the rest of our lives. So would they play mine? Sure. I think we might be able to win this one if we hit a land. If not, it's going to be kind of rough. Yep, that guy's pretty good. Do we Blood Moon or do we warrant or do we munitions expert this guy? Definitely Blood Moon. <coughs> <coughs> but then we don't have black as the problem. So then we can't actually I guess we can put it into play with the munitions expert, but Alright, we'll see. Let's see if that works. Well, <clears throat> ancient stirring seems like a good hit. Let's play this guy, because next turn we can Instigator and Matron if we hit another land, which is nice. Power plant. So they have no colorless mana either, which is great. Matron. So I'm just going to Instigate here. Ringleader. Second hit. Ringleader. God, these these hits for one is like they're really kind of surprising. I feel like this is actually. I think we're gonna decent, win. That's pretty good. Is this game? <laughs> Some of that buffs. I was going to get another ring later. Yep, that'll do. Wow. All right. 1-1 one, one against uh, Eldrazi. <coughs> yeah, I don't know what else we'd add, though. Like, the deck seems... Good. I think the Blood Moon is definitely relevant. Definitely Mike something. B, have you listened to Trapanese by Lil Ricefield? <laughs> no, I have not. I think two Prismatic Vista is probably better than two Scar two Scarn two Scalding Tarn. Yeah, that seems alright. Two Michael Scarns. Cards in mod M twenty will be locked while you're oh, yeah, sure. I don't know why they tell me that. <coughs> I like Krenko and I was actually considering a Krenko. But I wondered if there was a reason why it wasn't in the deck. <coughs> I really need to stop coughing. I'm sorry, guys. I could see playing one Krenko over one Karn, just because four Karns is a lot. And, like, some matchups, it's just not very good. Okay. I'm in. 
whereas Cranko can just take over the game. I don't know. It's not so. It's not like I'm not sick. Like I'm not gonna play against this guy a third time. <clears throat> what about Tin Street Cranko? I don't even know what that is. Is there a card other than Tin Street Hooligan? Oh, Cranko Tin Street Kingpin. Hmm. That is interesting. Meh. Yeah. guy's going to be sitting here for a while, I think. Cranko might just be a win more card. The like, thing is, like, when you tap Cranko, like, you have to have, if you have three goblins, like, you already have three goblins, but three goblins might not win you the game, but six goblins is a lot closer to winning you the game. I feel like we want another <clears throat> another chieftain in here, though. Yeah, that seems correct. You can take out that silly Mons guy. Really? Whenever yeah. a goblin dies, he deals one damage to any target? That seems good. It's nice to tutor for, because then you can I guess I don't know. Like, but you're not sacking a lot of things, is the thing. What about the four converter mana cost black mini siege gang? Yeah, he's alright. What about the Oh that yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's alright. It's another thing where I'm like, would I rather have this over anything else? I was also thinking about Sijang, um, but it's five mana, so it's kind of rough. Wow, Splash Oko. Jeez. I mean, it's not unreasonable, right? I think it is, yeah, actually. Okay. Play two extra colors just for Oko. <coughs> My belly's making noises. Do, 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 do. You okay? I'm fine. I'm just hungry. I bet if you woke up before five, you could have eaten something. You don't say. I know. It's a crazy strategy. I'll keep this. What are we sending back here? Probably Tarfire. Depending on the match, Tarfire could be very, very good. I think we just send back Matron. We have a <clears throat> two drop, three drop, four drop. I mean, we're not gonna play this guy in two though, but oh, oh boy, burn. oh boy. I don't know how we deal with this, to be quite honest. Oh my god. Riftbolt. <clears throat> sure. Let's get another bloodstained. Alright, I'll take one here. Get a regular mountain. Well, we're already at nine. <clears throat> this feels like a Thorn of Amethyst matchup, interestingly enough, but I don't want to bring it in because it's for Karn, and there's only one of them. 
and it's not. Oh, so I think we cut it. Yeah, it's not in the sideboard anymore. Why do we play two basic swamp? Um, to search them out. Wow, this is amazing. Well, they have one card less, and it's 100% of burn spells. What so are the odds? We're, <clears throat> I think we're actually fine here. See, now we get these two guys. I think they're dead. Yeah, I don't know how they could win. They can't. Even though they have a draw a draw on board, too. Two no. draws. Mm. Yeah, they only have three cards. They have to win with three cards in hand. See, they can't do it. Oh, they're like, oh, I got it. So we can take two and go to one, which is the same thing in Tarfire. We mm -hmm. might as well. Oh, you can do that too. Yep, go to one. I mean, maybe they just hit a land, right? <coughs> now he can gut shot you. That's true. All right, well me. You actually win the next turn. Whoop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How? Uh, we put in Goblin, Matron, search out something that gives it pluses, and then... No, they're killing us right now. Okay, yep. yeah. <sighs> well... We tried. Wow, we were like literally one year right though, because like if we if we were to attack with everything, they would take one. We would put in matron. No, we'd have to. No, we'd have to put the matron in. We'd have to put the plus one first. Yeah. So we'd have to draw something. Yeah. For plus one. Oh well, it was close. Thoughtseize is sweet because it's like uh, you get to draw, you get to take two instead of three. <laughs> Starfire doesn't seem great here either. I mean, it's, it kills their creatures, like Eidolons, Goblin Guides, whatever. I guess so. <coughs> I mean, if we can hit the Chalice, I think we're in good shape. Yeah, they're they're real dead to a Chalice. Yeah, I'm not going to keep this. I will keep this. Gorblin. I guess we should have actually tuck the tar fire. Oh no, come on. Cancel. Because if we tuck the tar fire, <clears throat> we're not going to be able to play it off of Chalice anyway, so. That's a good point. Uh, the problem with bomb is that you're it's a one of so you're gonna get it with car and you're not gonna actually draw it it's meant to be drawn it's meant to be kept on the sideboard well now we're just gonna tar fire this before we <coughs> I'm just gonna get a mountain here because reasons. Fascinating. I think them gaining one life is <clears throat> better than uh, us not hitting a free land. Goblin Crater Maker. Well, <coughs> Did you just put chalice here. Yeah, I think we chalice. God damn it! Stop using it for goblin mana. I might as well stop using it for red too. <sighs> it's 
seems good. Oh, they had two other sideboard cards. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, and a one drop. Right afterwards. Oh, I like being able to put Crater Maker in and block it, though. Oh, they just don't attack with it? Sounds good. Oh, because they know we have this, so that's silly. <coughs> Yeah, this is fine. This card, this card's pretty unbeatable, I think. Yeah, per it's pretty good. I agree. What can we get here that's good? <coughs> <coughs> Besides my throat not doing this. Uh, Cranko. I think we took the Cranko out, didn't we? Oh, did we? Okay. Yeah, I didn't leave man. Oh, well, never mind. Kind of just like ringleader here. Mm, okay. Pretty good. Probably jumping here and not go to five unless they have another spell that. Yep. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go to one here. Seems good. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> so we are currently. Going on with the 2 2 on board that is protection from our deck. Seems good. I don't think that's going to do it for us. Guess we'll just put Ringleader into play. Yep. <sighs> Can we win this turn? No. You know, I don't think so. All right. <clears throat> so we're currently 2 2. I don't know what else we'd change, though. Dragon's Clock would really be good. I really like Ranko in here. You do like Cranko? I mean, yeah, I don't a think lot. A lot? Yeah. I don't think he would have done anything differently, though. Not in that game, no, but I just like him. <laughs> I just like him. I just like him a lot. Sure, not thinking of Grenzo? Grenzo? Yeah, you know, old Grenzo. The guy that puts things from the bottom of your deck into play? Yeah. No, I'm not thinking about that guy. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. No, no Skirk Prox Prospector. I don't think there's any sort of like combo -y interactions with Skirk Prospector here. Bushwhacker seems like it might be good in here. Yeah. Bushwhacker seems like an okay one of. A fun of. Randomly just kill your opponent pretty quickly. <coughs> Grenzo's not modern legal, even if he was. I know, that was just a joke. Yeah. Let's just do that. Just stop it. Just stop it. Thank you. Perfect fits. Welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Long time no see. Long time no see.
Goblin Cave would be interesting. I don't even know what Goblin Cave is. I also don't know what Goblin Cave is. No more midday baths. That's a bummer. That was where we won. Memories. Oh, <laughs> uh, there is a Devoid Burn spell. It's called Ghostfire. It costs three mana. It's just too much mana. I mean, you're not going to put in Ghostfire on the hopes that they have Core Firewalker, right? Like, that just seems bad. I feel like the Modern is, uh... Super Fritz, Perfect Fits sounds like my evolved form. Well, one more one more match we can do it <clears throat> we'll play one more see if we can get the three two I think we can oh our, our internet died for a second but I think we're good I don't think anyone wants to play with us anymore. Oh, alas, I do miss watching Twitch in my bath at 2 p.m., stroking my skin with bubbles and ingesting some sweet magic content. Oh, don't say stroking my skin. This is a family friendly <laughs> stream. Do we do it? Did they, I can't tell if they kicked us out or if they start. Or if they started a match. I think they started a match and just put it on the bottom. <coughs> I mean, his hand seems good. Yes, this is Patrick. Is it? Yeah, it's right here. Oh. Oh, all right. That bird's going to be dead. I think you're right. Oh, what are they going to do here? Oko. Concede. It's going to literally be an Oko. Renegade Rallyer? Not an Oko, but still kind of... Uh, Pretty good. Kind of something. I don't know what's going on. Ephemerate? Oh, they blinked their Renegade Rallyer? Wow, that's... <coughs> <coughs> That's amazing. I, mean, I kind of just want to kill the bird. But then again, this guy's real scary too. This has a rebound? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I don't think killing the bird matters too much now. This is optimistic. Why? Because we're probably just dead? No, I just mean like, there's no way that guy's ever getting through, right? Really? I guess we'll find I out. I guess if he doesn't play anything else, he can kill his boy. <laughs> kill his boy. <laughs> Just sounds dark when you say it like that. They chose not to cast it? That's interesting. Why wouldn't they blink the Renegade Rallyer? I don't know. Hard cast batter skull. I have crater I have crater maker. He don't know that. Oh my god, they're attacking with this guy too? Oh man. Oh man. We might get this bird after all, my dude. We might get this bird. Hmm, yes. Kill the bird. Are you okay? Kill the child. Oh god. 
Just stop it. Kill the bird child. Kill the bird child. Watching the stream in a movie theater right now. That's pretty sweet. About to watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, man. You guys are living it up. Living the life. You really shouldn't be scared. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is not really that scary. You're not that scary. Wow. No, just kidding. You're terrifying. If we can draw two drop goblin, we can go two drop goblin munitions expert, kill this, put in ringleader, put in with something we get with ringleader. That seems really good. Also, which Texas Chainsaw Massacre? The oh, original or the so. new one? Multiple big fat dudes. Oh, that's oh, that's really good. Oh god, that was like the best possible draw. Oh my god. That's insane. Oh, I see what you did there. Man. <clears throat> they have no cards in hand? We get to put I had to put mayo on a meatball sub a few minutes ago. Now oh, that's God. scary. Someone actually did it? Ugh. Hit again. Put another ringleader down. Get a chain whirler. Your turn. That that went well. No complaints. Maybe just resubmit. <laughs> I don't really see anything worth sideboarding for. You know, like Thoughtseize for like some shenanigans? Uh over what? My corn? Maybe. I don't know. I think it is fine. <clears throat> Dan's I think you'll be fine Chris, that's a that's a classic joke. And by classic, I mean like you know the internet came with over the year ago. <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Come to New York and watch movies with us. Man, I would love to. I would love to. That sounds like a blast. What is this old frame? Look at that. Destroy the child. Tomorrow will be my least favorite, my least eventful Halloween yet. Can't wait for Thanksgiving and the green bean casserole. You just make green bean casserole outside of Thanksgiving, right? I'm no green bean expert, I'll be honest with you. It's a five minute walk from my house to the pub. It's a 35 minute walk from the pub to my house. The difference is staggering. <laughs> oh God, why badger? Surprised that badger doesn't have kids because of the sheer number of dad jokes. Didn't play anything. Fascinating. Kill it. I guess we should kill it, right? Yeah, then we get our ringleader on. Let's see, they're going to do some shenanigans now. Spellqueller? Oh, God. This is the worst, dude. 
Yeah, that's pretty rough. <sighs> it's really bad. Yeah. That's like the most perfect situation they could have thought of. Yep, we could have actually just let it go. And then if they played this, we could have munitions expert to kill it. Yeah, that was pretty rough. Interesting. We probably should have played it before attacking. Sure. It's true. Come on, no whiffs. Well, they're not whiffs, that's for sure. We could go Munitions Expert, Tar Fire, kill the Spell Queller, Munitions Expert, kill the Scavenging Ooze, I guess. We'll only have three creatures, though. Sweet potatoes are such a polarizing food. People seem to either love them or hate them. Well, I haven't come in, in contact with many people that hate sweet potatoes. Yeah, me neither, actually. Let's get in there, I guess. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh boy. That's the yikes for me, dog. Sort of fire and ice? Oh, that's real good. Jesus, that's game. <laughs> I ain't messing with no sort of fire and ice. Do we have any way to deal with artifacts? I guess we have the Crater Maker Goblin, which is good. Thought seems does seem good here. Now it does, yeah. Take a vial out. Take one car now. So we'll take the actually chain roller is probably decent. They have a bunch of take the mons. Bunch of idiots. Badger, you gotta stop with these jokes. There's, there's too many of them. It's getting pretty rough. <clears throat> I like that you put the glasses on, but you just put them on your forehead. That's cool, man. Okay. I'm actually not sure if I like the Aether Vials, to be quite honest with you. I mean, they're good, but... Crack it, Ephemerate. No? That's not bad. Seems decent. I'm just gonna pass. I'm not gonna slam these two into each other. <coughs> now he might ephemerate get back noble hierarch. Nope, they did not. Okay. And we're gonna go yes. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, that's real nice. Boom.
I mean, if they have Spellcaller here and they just want to run it into a Goblin Ringleader, that's fine. Collected Company, also good. Mmm, boy. Bouncing that guy. Getting back Collected Company. <laughs> Seems good. Yep. That's a stupid card at 2-3. I don't know. <clears throat> it was good enough to be banned in standard, though. taking this. So you know one of the cards in their hand is Collect Company. What to get? Probably just Munitions Expert. Oh, it's a solid choice. say no. <clears throat> I wish this guy gave plus one plus one. We have four of the other one and this is the one we're drawing unfortunately. Yep. I guess we could draw the other one with the goblin matron. One, two, three for this guy. Matron still costs two. I just want a matron here. That's what they collect the company. Well, I can't stop that. Oh, that's a whiff if I ever saw one. <coughs> Oh, I did not notice that. But we're definitely killing that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Still get something? Just get another munitions expert. I'm just going to keep mowing these guys down as long as I can, I guess. Get rid of this dude before the end step. Two cards. Just gonna take four here. No. 
No, don't like that. Anthem effect. Cavern of Souls. Okay. Do we have anything we can get with this guy? Hmm. So what we can do is go red, red, instigator. Oh, um, <clears throat> yeah, I guess we're one shy. I feel like we just attack here. One, two, three, like all, like two of the three of their guys are gonna, gonna die here. So, here comes Collected Company number three. Okay, they're just going to eat that guy. Actually, tempted a munitions expert that now. Yeah, I would. Pretty sure we don't get to know what that is, so. I also feel like we should have done that first. Oh good. That's 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 amazing. Yep, collected company. Well, you can't play it right now, so that's good I guess. This deck is actually awesome. <clears throat> I'm a big fan of this deck. There's just so much play to it. Like your Eternal Witness, you can put Renegade Rallyer to get back. Soul Herder. Oh, it's two or less, right? Yeah, so you could get back Watcher of Tomorrow. And we're pretty wide right here. Stoneforge, sure. Cast Batter Skull. That'd be pretty bad considering on board we have the way to kill it. Well, they can't put it in. They don't have haste. Hmm. Oh, they didn't even try to stop it. That's interesting. Do you just get Graft Digger's Cage over resolves? <laughs> Come on, whiffs. They'll never whiff. Spell Queller. And Reflector Mage. <sighs> Seems good. Nope, Reflector Mage. You're right. <clears throat> Good call. I guess we just pass here. Yeah, this is hard to deal with. Like, they just have way too much card advantage, and we don't have that much card advantage.
I'm ready to get to blink eternal witness again. The collective company in response. Oh, you just get the ephemera back. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, this deck is great. I mean, we won the first game. We just didn't win the other games. I feel like they're just going to equip this to... Uh Oh, they can't. I thought they were going to play this and then equip it to, like, Spellqueller. And then attack for, like, seven in the air, but they can't do that because of Karn. So that's interesting that they did it right now. Welp. That's pretty good. So long, Karn. Karn has just not been, like, super impressive in this deck. I don't know if it's the matchups or what, but I feel like it's too slow for what we're trying to do. Like, it kind of slows us down to a point where, like, we want to survive in order to play Karn and then also play whatever we get off of Karn. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? <clears throat> now we're hitting a lot of lands here. Yeah. Like, there was never a time where I was like, oh, I'm going to play this Karn. And then I, you know, and then you win like immediately after because you have they give them you have them so much time to like do their thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Well, three. we can get rid of the better spell. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The problem is we have like a bunch of one ones. Uh. Yeah, we need like the thing that pumps our goblins here. What does Skirk Fire Marshal do? I don't even know if that's legal in modern. Is it one word? Hmm. Is it... Oh, I think I probably put too many... Uh, yeah. Top five goblins you control deals 10 damage to each creature and each player. That would kill us too, though. That's insane. It's also not legal in modern, so... Actually, Chandra Torch of Defiance does seem like a better option. I mean, it gives you... It just refills your hand. I like the Karn. I think it's a cool option for the deck, but I don't think it's... I don't think it's where you want to be. I think it pulls the deck in too many directions, unfortunately. <clears throat> yeah, I just don't think we can win this game. Like, even if we kill the Batter Skull, like, they can just bounce it in response and then replay it next turn and then equip it to Spell Queller and then we just die. So, like, we just don't have a way to to really get out of that situation, unfortunately. Yeah, like, I mean, I think for me, I would actually cut the Karns, and it would also give you more sideboard space, too, for things like uh, Dragon's Claw or, you know, ways to get your creatures back, things like that. Patriarch's Bidding. <laughs> Just kidding, that's not legal. But yeah, Urchai, thank you so much for the option to, the opportunity to play this deck. really appreciate it. I do think, I think Karn is a little bit too cute. Um, I like just having a built-in combo of Karn plus Mycosynth Lattice, but like, again, you have a 23 land deck and you're trying to hit your six mana with Mycosynth Lattice. And I don't think, even though we did end up hitting it, I don't think it's super common to do so. And I think you can actually just not even worry about hitting six lands. And, um, like you can even play more fetch lands. You can play like 10 fetch lands if you wanted to, if you cut the Karns, because then you just don't have to worry about hitting so many land drops. Um, I could see adding more one ofs. Like I could see adding one of Cranko because if he just gets through it with haste, he's very, very good. I could see adding the other Cranko as well. I can see adding some Chandras. And um, like I said, I think your sideboard frees up a lot if you don't have to deal with that. And I don't, I don't think Ensnaring Bridge is great because if your opponent has a bunch of creatures that are big enough that they can't attack, you can't really attack into them either. Right. You know what I mean? Like I would even consider like you can even cut Karns for Goblin Goblin Grenades, I think, and you'll be in good shape. Which also would have won us the game because there were five. So. Right there, there in that game there were five. Yeah. Oh yeah, that would have been five. insane. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, I mean, I like the idea. Don't get me wrong. I think it's, I think it's a really sweet. Um, 
a really sweet option for the deck, but I do think that it's not the most efficient option, unfortunately. But if you guys want to have your deck critiqued by me, definitely uh, check out my Twitch or my uh, YouTube profile. You can find out how to do that there. Uh, really appreciate the support. Sorry it took me so long to get to this. Uh, magic stuff was hectic, but I appreciate your patience, and uh, hopefully you got some good ideas out of this. But uh, slam those like and subscribe button, guys. Guys, check me out. On all the things, CoolStuffInc.com, I had a new article go up today about the oppression of Oko and uh, the oppressiveness of Oko, I should say. The oppression means he's being oppressed, but he's not. But uh, yeah, Auntie's Hovel for Fixing is also a very good land that, that's that's often overlooked. It's a nice dual land that you can play because you'll I'll, you'll usually always have a goblin in hand. Oh yeah, the black-red one? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I probably wouldn't play more than like two because you don't want to like draw it in the late game and have, um, you know, not... Not a goblin, but either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you next time.